Hey guys, it's Alan here from Smart Money Tactics and welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's video, I want to show you different ways on how you can become your own boss and start working from home today. Guys, number one thing when it comes to working for yourself is you can't be lazy. You can't laze around the house and you definitely can't be wasting time. It's just one of those things that can't happen. So if you're a take action type of person and you want to change your life and you want to stop the nine to five and you want to work and be your own boss, then I'll show you today how you can actually become your own boss and work for yourself. So before we get into it, guys, as always, click on that subscribe and bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Give me a quick thumbs up and leave me a comment and I'll uh, try my best to reply back to as many people as possible. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so the first opportunity I wanna to bring to you today is e-commerce. Now, e-commerce is huge at the moment and people are making a lot of money um, through e-commerce. Now, e-commerce, different sites, um, obviously, that people are using is Amazon and eBay and Shopify, and we all know that people are sourcing different products from Alibaba and selling it on these sites and making huge markups and a lot of money. These are simple online business opportunities that people have started and they've become their own bosses working from home. And you have that exact same opportunity. But I'll show you another way that you can actually do this without having to um, do all that. It doesn't have to be so complex. You can start small. Um, there's a lot of um, ideas and there's a lot of ways that you can do this. So one of the ways that you can actually do this other than um, sourcing stuff on Alibaba, which you can do as well, but have a look around your house, guys. There's so many different things that you could potentially sell. Go through your garage, have a look. There's so many different things that are just sitting there that you can sell, that you can make money straight away. But do you have a do you have a keen a, a, a good eye for things? Um, do you go to garage sales? Are you good at picking things? There's opportunities where you can go to these um, garage sales on the weekends, find certain goods that you can pick up for ten dollars, go back home put it on eBay, put it on Amazon, put it on a different site, and you may be able to make 50, 60, 70, $80 on top of what you bought that for. And then you can start your e-commerce business slowly. It doesn't have to start quick. But remember my number one rule, guys. Momentum is key and you can't, cannot be lazy. So although e-commerce is great and you can start off um, by sourcing products from Alibaba and there's a lot of different courses online, that's one simple way that you can do it. Go to garage sales, sell stuff from home, and start building your business slowly. Um, and that's my tip for e-commerce. Let's get on to the next one. All right, guys, another idea on how you can be your own boss is if you're a writer, there is actually so much work out there available. Um, and there's a, such a huge demand for writers out there that you can virtually start working for yourself um, pretty much straight away. Now, if you have a think, every single website owner um, every single YouTuber, every single blogger out there hires writers to write content um, for their pages um, and blog posts. Um, hourly wages for novices and copywriters are very high, but with some experience and a growing portfolio, you can make a lot of money as a freelance writer um, pretty much straight away. And it's not that hard to do. So if you have a talent for writing, don't waste it. Start your own home-based business today. You can advertise yourself on places like Fiverr um, where you can get a lot of work. Build up your portfolio, get your customer base right up there and you can start working from home today and making some really good money. Whether it's being your own boss, making money or doing jobs on the side for yourself. So the opportunities are endless for writers, freelancers. Like I said, so many different people out there will require your skills. So my advice is Start that business today. Don't be lazy and momentum is key and who knows where you'll be in six months, 12 months. So um, what I'll do now is I'll get on to my next opportunity. All right, guys. So another great idea on how to be your own boss is by working as a virtual assistant. A lot of people out there have a lot of skills that they've learned um, through years of work in different corporate industries that they can now actually take or you can take um, into the online world and be your own boss. So if you have an act for staying organized, um, if you're a jack of all trades, then you should consider working as a virtual assistant as a side business idea and working from home. You can find great gigs on um, sites like Elance, Indeed, and Upwork, 
which I have reviewed on some of my other videos. It can be an awesome way to rub shoulders with some very, very important people and build your professional network, develop in-demand new skills, grow your side business idea and you'll have the added perks of being able to start this as a home-based business idea. Being your own boss has never been easier, guys. There's, like I said, there's a very good sites out there that you can jump on and start advertising yourself pretty much straight away and getting work from home. Um, it's a fantastic opportunity for you. So if you have those skills um, that are transferable into some of these online jobs, I suggest, I highly suggest that you actually look into it because some of these, um, some of these virtual assistants are earning full time um, incomes, and they're actually a lot of the times they're working for a few different companies at the same time. So I highly recommend it, and I'll get on to the next one. Guys, I really hope you're enjoying my video on how to become your own boss. And I'm going to bring to you a couple of other ideas as well. Uh, but if you're enjoying my content and enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe um, down the bottom on the link and click that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll be bringing content like this to you guys um, a lot. And I'm, I'm really passionate about helping you out and finding your um, obviously niche or way to financial freedom. So with that being said, the next um, business that I'd like to discuss with you on how to become your own boss is um, very simple actually. It's it's working for either Uber or Lyft. Now, um, driving for one of these two globally expanding app-centric taxi alternative type services, um, Uber and Lyft can be very lucrative um, and it's a very lucrative way to earn money um, as a side business or working for yourself being your own boss. Um, and it basically involves you, know, you working on the weekends, um, doing it full time if you wanted to. Um, it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic new way of um, making that extra income. But it is something that you need to look into with a bit of caution. Um, so before you dive head first into this business idea, do a lot of your own research. Speak to other Uber driver and Lyft drivers in your area and calculate your cost of gas and mileage, tire wear, etc. I've done a video where I've showed that. You know, I've earned anything up to $600 on a weekend um, and it was a fantastic way of me subsidizing some of the other stuff that I do. So um, it, that's another fantastic side business and obviously a way that, it's, uh, that you can work for yourself and another online business opportunity. Now, um, another way as well that you can make money, um, if you don't want to drive your car, you can actually rent your car out on Turo. Um, now, Basically, if you own a car but you barely use it, you can make some easy cash um, as an effortless side business um, renting out your car on Turo. Now, before you freak out and think, oh, no, I'm not going to let somebody you know, take my car and what if they crash it, etc. Turo actually covers that and has all the insurances in place um, for you to be covered. So if you don't want to drive your car but it's sitting in your garage and you want to make a bit of extra money, while you're doing you know, five or six other things online being your own boss, then rent out your car and make a little bit of extra cash to pay those other bills. So a couple of options there for yourself. Drive for Uber, drive for Lyft. If you don't want to drive and your car's parked in your garage, then advertise or rent it out on Turo and make a few dollars there as well. And what I'll do now is I'll move on to my next idea. All right, guys. Well, glad you're still listening and I'm glad you're still watching because the next opportunity I'm going to give you definitely definitely involves you getting your hands dirty and that is through a company called TaskRabbit. Now with TaskRabbit you are definitely your own boss and working for yourself. It is a fantastic um, online business opportunity and a great way um, on how to become your own boss and I say that because there's so much opportunity out there for you to go to do different things for people that need you. Remember, two reasons why people are going to need you. Either they're going to want you to do something for them or they're going to want you to show them how to do something. And with TaskRabbit, it's one of those things where they definitely want you to do something for them. So if you've got a few skills out there that you want to utilize and you want to make a bit of extra money, I suggest you go on to TaskRabbit.com. And a few things that you'd be doing on there is people will call you to go and assemble stuff from Ikea or they'll get you to paint a room or they'll ask you to move furniture for them whatever it is if you're looking to start slowly and build your own business this is the perfect way to do it but remember guys think outside the square think big 
Once you go there and TaskRabbit sends you to do a job for someone, there's nothing stopping you from having your own business cards, your, um, your, your own logos, your own van, your own truck, your own um, labeling on your car, where you can go out and you can start growing your own home-based business or your own um, company. Um, and you can start from sites like TaskRabbit where you go out and do the odd job even while you're still working full-time somewhere else. And then what enables you, what that enables you to do is to start small, go out, paint a room, fix a bed, do whatever it needs, whatever needs to be done, build your brand and start creating that, um, to start making that huge amount of income um, that's going to obviously change your life. Um, people are making a lot of money on sites like TaskRabbit and I'm sure they've started businesses on there um, that are very, very, very lucrative. So um, I hope you're, I hope that idea is something that suits you and I hope you've got the skills to do something like that because that is a great opportunity um, that you should tap into and, and I reckon um, immediately. So um, definitely check it out, taskrabbit.com. I've done other videos on it and what I'll do now is I'll move on to my next opportunity. All right, guys, some of the things that people don't think about um, when, they, when they think about how do I become my own boss is they don't sit there and think about what, what am I good at? What are my skills that are transferable into a business idea that I can utilize straight away? And life skills that um, you don't automatically um, associate with a business um, or an idea. For example, um, on a side note, you know, there's a lot of pe things that we do at home every day like cleaning and cooking. There are different jobs that you can start out there where you can actually teach people how to cook or go and clean their houses. So there's just little side note ideas aside from what I'm gonna bring you today. So always think what are my skills and what's transferable and how can I create a business on the back of that? And one of those things that I wanna discuss today is um, childcare. So there's a lot of um, people out there that require um, places for their little ones to be looked after while they're working. And childcare is a huge industry where you can make a lot of money looking after someone else's kids. And if you're a stay-at-home mom or if you've just had a child, then that is the perfect opportunity for you to be able to make a little bit of extra income. And you can choose the ages of the children that you want to look after. If you don't want babies and you want between the ages of three to seven, there's after-school care, there's before-school care, um, and then there's weekend care, and believe it or not, there's even some people that need it in the in the evenings. So there's a lot of money to be made. And when you think, do I have the skills? Well, you're looking after a child anyway. You've had kids yourself. There is a huge opportunity out there for you to make money doing that. So that's one way that you can do it. On the flip side, the other thing that a lot of people are requiring at the moment, there are virtually millions of people at the moment that are over the age of 85 that need elderly care. So if you're someone that's passionate about the elderly and you don't mind spending time with them and you want to look after them, there is so much opportunity out there for yourself to be able to go out and look after the elderly um, where you can make so much money. All you need to do is look for these services online. They are everywhere and you'll be able to start earning money and being your own boss from tomorrow. So a couple of other little side things for you that you can do as well. Um, and that's childcare and elderly care. So um, what I'll do is I'll bring my next um, opportunity up for you. But just don't forget, always remember that there's so many different skills um, that you potentially have that you can utilize um, into, into a business and, and a fantastic online business as well. Uh, let's move on to my next one. All right, guys, another thing that you can actually do um, and, and be your own boss um, is aside from the childcare and elderly care that I just spoke about, Another um, thing that you can actually do is you can look after someone else's pets. Now, I won't go into this too much, but quite simply, you can become an avid dog walker. You can look after people's pets overnight. Um, and there's a lot of sites like rover.com and bringfido.com where um, you people will pay you to walk their dogs because they don't have time to do it. And you charge your rate. So it's a fantastic way of being your own boss and it's another opportunity where you can work virtually from home but also get fit at the same time. So um, a couple of, another quick tip where you can earn money on the side from doing other things that you're doing at home like freelance writing or teaching someone how to do something or in between your task rabbit jobs, 
Just remember guys, think outside the square. If you've got pets and you love pets and you wanna look after someone else's pets and you wanna get paid for it and you wanna stay healthy at the same time, there's another opportunity for you as well. So check out those two sites, bringfido.com and rover.com um, and start charging whatever you want to look after these animals. It's another fantastic idea on how you can be your own boss. Let's move on to the next one. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed my video on how to become your own boss. If you're looking to start something from home, whether it's online or whether it's hands-on, guys, like I said, you have to take action. You can't be lazy. It's very, very important. Momentum is key in anything that you do. And over time, something small will grow into something big. But you have to make that commitment that today is the day that I'm going to start this. I'm going to stop this 9 to 5 grind. I'm going to change my life. There's a lot of different things that I haven't gone through today. Um, sites like Airbnb where you can rent out a room and make a little, bit, a little bit of money. Airbnb also does hosting experiences, guys. So if you have a different talent, um, if you have other, uh, for, for example, if let's say you're, you're into your fitness, what you can actually do with Airbnb hosting is you can organize a walk, let's say for people that want to get fit, and you can actually charge 5 to $10 for six, seven, eight, nine people to join that walk with you and walk with them for an hour and do that three times a week. Do the math. There's a lot of opportunity. You just got to think outside the square. Take action and take action to change your life today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. What I'd like you to do for me now is if you like this video and you want more great content um, of how to work from home and how to be your own boss and different work from home ideas, um, then I urge you to click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. As always guys, my name's Alan, I'm from Smart Money Tactics. Thank you so much for watching and tuning into my channel. Leave me a quick comment, let me know what you thought. And until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.